Morning, everybody. How's it going? Um, I've been meaning to do a little video for a while about um, the guitar part, uh, the guitar part that I played on uh, the Jeff Tweedy Rodney Crow duet. It came out on Rodney's record called the Chicago Sessions. Um, so I'm gonna just show you. It's super simple. This thing I played. Um, the song's called Everything at Once, and it's a song that uh, Rodney and Jeff Tweedy wrote together. I played this guitar through, um, through, uh, Jeff's, uh, Princeton reverb, I think, straight in. Uh, anyway, the main riff is this one. It's basically, um... You kind of need a B-banded to do it. I'm sure there's another way you can figure it out. But it's kind of tricky uh, without the bender. If you do have a bender... I didn't use any delay on the recording. I didn't use any pedals, actually. But you kind of uh, bend up and then you sus... With your first finger, it looks like an A minor chord. Because you're bent up, it becomes a regular major. Um, that's the main riff. And then the solo basically just bends the B string with your um, sort of conventional um, one, three, five chords moving up the fretboard. Resolves back on the one, but basically the solo pivots between the four and five chord D and E, and it works its way up. And um, what we ended up doing on the record was, I had a previous pass at the solo that Jeff suggested we keep in and that I play against. Um, so I overdubbed to my own solo, and what it creates is kind of like a shadow solo happening in the background while I'm playing the actual solo, which is kind of cool because it's similar, but it's just different enough that it sort of creates this psychedelic B-bender effect, um, which is cool. I remember hearing that years ago on a Sonny Landreth uh, record. Oh, actually, it was a John Hyatt record that Sonny Landreth played on where you can hear the ghost of another solo happening at the same time. It's a cool effect. Um, anyway, so that's it. The song's called Everything at Once, if you want to check it out. It's an awesome song, and, um, you know, super proud to get to play on it. Um, I haven't talked much about the, like, working up there at the loft with Jeff Tweedy, but, and Rodney, but it was certainly a, uh, you know, dream come true. No doubt about it. Like, I've been a massive Jeff Tweedy fan for years and Wilco fan. And, um, you know, like, to me, like, The Loft is kind of like uh, the Willy Wonka factory or something. <laughs> you know, I've seen, like, fragments of pictures of it over the years, you know, but uh, it was a, a real dream come true to, to, like, work in there. And we spent a week going there, tracking that record and hanging out and, um, you know, shooting the shit, um, playing guitars. I only took this guitar and I, I just borrowed um, Jeff's guitars and amps because um, we rode up in a small van and, and we didn't have a lot of room. But, you know, I certainly wasn't worried about having access to... <laughs> great guitars and amps uh, for the week. 
so it was super fun and and Jeff couldn't have been cooler and you know it was like you know something I'm really proud of that record if you haven't heard it check it out it's Rodney Crowell the Chicago Sessions and um I got a song I wrote on there too co-wrote with Rodney and Sarah Buxton um which is first time I've ever had a song on a Rodney Crowell record that's pretty cool um, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, if you got any questions, send them my way. And um, I'll get up to date with the comments and go through, see if there are any other questions on other videos today. And uh, that's all I have. Hope everybody's great. Have a good Wednesday.